chances are you've probably never seen anything like it. It's called the Zico Robotic Polisher, and one of the only places in the United States that you can find it is at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. This is the Center for Applied Optics at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, and this is where the Zico Polisher does its work. Standing nine feet tall and almost as wide and deep, the massive Zico tips the scales at nearly 17,000 pounds. A British firm, Zico, specializes in leading edge technology robotic polishers for the optics industry and other industries requiring the utmost in polishing precision and control. The firm boasts more than 50 worldwide patents. Totally computer controlled, the Zico polisher can be programmed to select the exact type of polishing motion, as well as polish pressure, distance, and direction of attack. So there's just a, a broad amount of research that we're able to do here as far as investigating different material processes, how to process them most efficiently to deliver products for the industry, um, how to make new optical systems that will give scientists the, the data that they are interested in getting. And this is where the, the slurries go in here. The sophisticated machine is rare enough. There are only four to five others in the entire United States but it will allow the center to create optical devices of greater size and quality than it could develop before. And that could have major implications for UH Center for Applied Optics ability to support research for both the public and private sectors. We can make something. I mean, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, this country has a tendency to go away from not making anything anymore. We, this is a seven axis machine. You know, you got X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, but it also, well, it's polishing right now, but it has four other axes. It's an actual machine that we can actually make something with. You know, there's some great, there's some great minds out there, and they've some great theory. But with Chris and I, we actually make something. We can turn something from a drawing into a piece of equipment. According to Dr. Pat Reardon, this gives us the ability to collaborate more with the Marshall Space Flight Center, adding that it could also be used to produce optical devices for optical firms that need occasional large-scale mirrors, lenses, or other items. Reardon says the polisher will allow the university to support local, regional, and national teams in the fabrication of complex optical systems. It will also extend the center's research efforts in optical fabrication process development, optical testing, and optical design. But one of the greatest advantages is that students at UA Huntsville can see firsthand the opportunity of having a robotic polisher right here in Huntsville. We have talented students here, you know, just talented. But there is a little bit of a lacking sometimes with the tactile skills of, of taking something from your paper to actually making something and say, hey, look, Mom. You know, you know, you know. And since there are only four or five other Zico robotic polishers in the entire United States, for students to get their hands on one here and see the applications firsthand is a real world-class experience, one that they can get at the Center for Applied Optics. At the University of Alabama in Huntsville, I'm Tim Hall reporting.